Comic Army, it's time to open a mystery box from Torpedo Comics. That was $100, featuring the greatest superhero of all time, The Amazing Spider-Man. Comic Army, my name is Chris the Comic Vet. Hope this mystery box Monday finds you safe and well. Well, I got a big old mystery box from Torpedo Comics. Uh, this promises to have a slab inside and some Spider-Man books. Either way, they're calling this one the, this Web Slinger Mystery Box. Like I said, at, off the top, it's $100 and uh, it's Torpedo. So you never know what you're going to get. Now, all joking aside... I've done pretty well with some Torpedo Comics mystery boxes. I've hit the grand prize a couple times, and I've also strung out, pardon me, struck out massively a couple times with their mystery boxes. Let's waste no more time about that. Let's get into this bad boy. Oh, they do have a sticker right here. That's the end of that sticker. Now, uh, I remember that they had they were advertising like four slabs, I believe, one of which was a signed book from the Death of Craven miniseries, my personal storyline from any Spider-Man book. And uh, that was basically the reason why I attempted to get this. Maybe I'd get that book. Now, I don't know if there's supposed to be like a super grand prize or not, but if there is, they usually put a Polaroid on the inside flap, the top of the box. So let's take a look. No Polaroid. Okay, they do have some stuff tossed in here. I will show it right now. Uh, join the treasure hunt. Watch our live sales. This old card. They've also thrown in some magnets. Uh, milk and cheese. Okay. They throw in a torpedo comic sticker. Very cool. They thrown in oh the Todd McFarlane trading card set. This one I won't throw. A sticker for spine stress. A few of my books have had those in the in the in my day. Uh, some coasters. Uh. Katie's Club Pecos. Oh, it's from Sin City. I get it now. I'm going to throw those out of Here we have a sticker of the greatest superhero of them all. And a trading card set. All right. So there are... Some raw books here and there is a slab well packaged we'll save the slab for last okay the raw books are now free from their captivity what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it talk about it and throw up a most recent eBay sale my goal is to at least to attempt to get my money back in potential value remember I spent a hundred dollars to get this box up first we have is that Web Warriors 1? All right, Protectors of the Spider-Verse, Web Warriors number one, an oversized array of arachnid adventures. That's a lot to say. All right, so we got, looks like, Spider-Woman, Spider-Ham, Spider-Man Noir, Gwen. There's a whole lot of the Spider-Family right there. It's a great cover, actually. Very nice. A PC book. Up next, oh boy, <laughs> all right, the best selling Spider Man book of all time. This is Spider Man number one, uh, Todd McFarlane's attempt at both writing and uh, being the artist for Spider Man. And uh, yeah, Torment number one. Very cool. All right, look closely, it's got three different. Uh, price points there American Canadian and the UK I don't know if all of them were released like that or not but it is their direct edition I believe this is 
just a normal cover A. Either way, I love it. Love it. Those were good times, let's admit. When this book came out, those were some good times in comic books. Up next, it's signed. Oh boy, this is Tyler Kirkham. I know that signature everywhere, anywhere. Uh, this is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 15, the last volume. Uh, Legacy 816, the Tyler Kirkham uh, variant cover. And uh, yep, The Amazing Spider-Man 15, Tyler Kirkham, signed July 1st, 2022. There's the cert on the back. And yeah, we, as you can see, we have Miles attempting to get uh, Gwen's, Gwen's phone out there as she takes a selfie. See the spider web up there and it comes back down around the miles. Yeah, love it. This is fantastic. I believe I do have this copy. I don't think I've it signed in, in pink or purple though. This is trying to be a great box. All right, also from the Todd McFarlane solo story, this is Spider Man 9. Right, so there's just a handful of books that Todd did, both the writing and the artwork. Uh, for that came out after this particular issue but yeah this one features the two biggest superheroes in Marvel at that time Wolverine and Spider-Man probably still the biggest two superheroes let's be honest uh, yeah as they take on Wendigo and Wendigo obviously has a history uh, connection to Wolverine as uh, when Wolverine first showed up in Hulk 180 or 180 181 and then briefly in 182 it was Hulk and Wendigo that were uh, that were the other characters featured. What's a Hulk book? Yeah, so Spider-Man number nine, featuring Farland. Okay, this one feels a bit thicker. Oh, all right. So we have some Red Goblin stuff. So this is Spider eight, Amazing Spider-Man issue eight hundred. Very, very good. Featuring the master uh, doing the artwork, Alex Ross. Awesome. Love it. Now, I believe I do have this cover. I know that I was picking up the Red Goblin Saga when it came out around, was it 795 through 800? I was reading Dan Slott's ASM, ASM run at that point. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So we have two more raw books here. Well, Spider Woman. Okay. Spider Woman, Spider Verse with a Greg Land cover. Uh, this is issue number three. Here we have Spider Woman and Silk. Almost touching fingers. This is like a little bit of a Sistine Chapel <laughs> homage. Am I fair to say that? Either way, uh, well, that's a hell of a cover. Good for you, Greg Land. I like it. Spider Woman, issue three. And the final raw book. All right, Renew Your Vows. Love it. This is The Amazing Spider Man, issue number one, Renew Your Vows by Dan Slott. This is the Andy Kubert cover. Adam Kubert, pardon me. Right, where we have that, that alternate. Alternate Earth Spider-Man, where Peter and MJ have a daughter. This was a fantastic mini-series, and it had a bunch of fantastic covers. Some of the best Spider-Man covers in the last 10 years were featured in this series, in my opinion. All right, ASM1, renew your vows. All right, let's, uh, let's get on to that slab. Try not to look at what it is. Just gonna rip right into this. Now remember, I said there was a Death of Craven book, and uh, a Death of Craven. Pardon me, Death of Craven. Man, oh man, uh, book that was spotlighted in their little feature. Here, here it is again. This advertisement they were doing to push this particular mystery box. All right, I can tell you right away just by a peripheral, it's a yellow label. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll take this out of, out, of, out of its bag. What 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Web of Spider-Man issue 31, part one of the Death of Craven saga. Fantastic. Oh, it's a dual sign book. Okay, Web of Spider-Man issue 31 signed by Jim Shooter and Mike Zek. And it says it's a Craven appearance. Surprise, surprise. Matt J.M. Dimiteus story, Zek Mike and Bob McLeod cover and art. And uh, this is in a CGC 9.4. And as you can see, I got a big old shiny UPC here. I am happy. This is terrific. Love it. Love it. Torpedo, you delivered. You definitely delivered. Man, this story takes me way back. These covers were iconic, all six of them. All right. Well, Comic Army, let me know what you think. Uh, did Torpedo deliver or not? With that being said, again, I spent $100 on this mystery box. Here is the value of recent eBay sales. And as you can see, I think I did all right. Please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and leave a comment. I try to I try to respond to every comment that gets left on my channel. So we see you again, Comic Army. Take care.